The Arena Games Racing, it's one of the hardest formats I've ever done. Really, really high paced, really fast, kind of more your 100 meter sprinter type triathlon format. It's breaking all the rules of triathlon, which is really exciting and I can really see the potential for it. It's a much shorter racing format, so the transitions count that much more. Yeah, you have so much external factors that also make it super hard. Like on Zwift on a bike, you can't really stop pedaling. Uh, you're inside a pool, which is super hot and humid. So all these extra conditions make it super, super hard. Like nothing else, but also exactly the same as everything else. You have to go to your deepest until the end of every stage. At the end, I don't think I've ever been uh, as exhausted as I was when I finished in London. I was out for pretty much the whole 2020 because of yeah the reason that everyone knows obviously the, the COVID that uh, hit just before the season and everyone cancelled races but then in the summer I had a pretty bad crash and I broke my pelvic which made me not able to run for almost two months. The short season that still came in September, October was completely ruined for me because of that. That was a pretty, pretty horrible year for me 2020 but I think I dealt with it quite well, like I, I kept training and kept super motivated throughout the whole year, but for sure it wasn't how I pictured myself going. The Arena Games in London were a super day for me, eh? it was my first race in almost two years. So for the men's race, kind of my pick. Uh, it's going to be hard to look past Martin van Riel. Definitely, you know, his biking and his swimming is, is definitely really, really up there and his running is, you know, it's a short distance. A lot more people can feature well kind of on the short distance runs, especially on, on, on the treadmill. And yeah, I definitely think he's going to be one to watch. Alex Yi uh, definitely showed himself as well, uh, especially on the running side of things. His swimming as well was kind of up there with some of the, the guys as well. So he, he, you know, excelled in this format of racing. Let's get racing here at the Arena Games. Van Riel, who is one of the best swim bikers I've seen in a long, long time. My Van Riel's moving the quickest over this course at the moment on the run. So I was super excited to just be on the starting line, actually. It's always, yeah, an insecurity that, that is inside you after such a long time of no racing. And I felt a lot better than I expected, so I, it went like a dream. Alex Yee, who, as we know, is the quickest runner out there. I felt really proud to be kind of in a place where the, the Olympics had been held and uh, I'd gone to watch the Olympic Games there and I was really pleased with my race and how it went. It was a lot of really quick learning, especially in the first race, knowing when to get off the bike and off the treadmill and stuff like that when it had finished and to press the, the buzzer, but I think I progressed throughout the rounds and I was really pleased with the kind of final outcome. I think from stage one on, went quite well for me. In, in the first stage, uh, we made a small breakaway with a couple of the, of the big names. Um, Vashko was there, I think um, Justus Nieschlag was there and Brownie was there. In the end of this, that stage, that's the one that's going to come down to a sprint, which is, I don't think any triathlete is good in a sprint, but I was still second of the four, so I, I was super happy with that. It looked like Velasa, Van Riel, Nieschlag and Brownlee. The second stage went perfect for me because um, we got away with another little group and there were some different names in there. That was me, Johnny Brownlee and Alex Gida got away on the bike. They are riding hard. So for me it was perfect because yeah I was up there again and some of the other names like Alex wasn't super good in stage one, just as niche like wasn't super good in stage two. So that was the perfect setup for me um, and I could win actually stage two with a, with a good swim in the end. Van Riel's He's coming committed. up on Brownlee. It's going to be Martin Van Riel who picks up stage two in the Arena Games. I was pretty much set up for the last stage to kind of try and stay as much in control as you can in this kind of racing. The final stage here of the Arena Games. And that's how I took the victory in the day. Martin Van Riel in third, taking the win. To finish first place, I couldn't believe it almost between a super strong field. Martin Van Riel takes the win. We'll see you in Rotterdam in three weeks time. It is going to be huge. I think to beat Martin, Alex has got to kind of swim as hard as he humanly can. I think Martin's got maybe 10 seconds on him on the swim. 
and you know that definitely you need to be able to catch up on the bike to be able to put your run down so it's definitely going to be quite a showdown between the two of them i think i think i'm especially going to have to keep an eye on alex Yi. this guy can motor i think yeah, he made me a couple of small mistakes last time in london and i think if he can improve on that he's going to be a, a very big threat obviously you can't rule out Martin, he was incredible in the last race and he's such an incredible swimmer but he's also really good on the World of Zwift as well. I think he's definitely one to look out for. It will take some very good running from me to take the title again. I think uh, my swimming and my biking has been super good, my running as well in training, but I hope I can show that again in, in the race and I believe I could win again, yes. Welcome to Rotterdam here in the Netherlands for the very first Super League Triathlon Arena game. So it's time to get it underway. In the first race, I always knew there were some fantastic swimmers in there and that I was going to be up against it. Not much between them all though. It comes down to seconds or a tenth of seconds even to win or even come fifth. The pace always fast and furious. When I was down there racing, I did feel confident, but also I did feel like there was a little bit of a target on my back. Last time the eyes were maybe more on, on Johnny Brownlee or on Juicy's niche like who was defending his title. And I think this time the eyes were more on me, so that definitely gave me uh, a bit more pressure. But I like racing under pressure, so that, that's not, not really a problem. That first sprint finish was really tight. It's won and lost in the next 100 meters. And I thought I'd timed it pretty well, but maybe left it a split second too late. And coming to steal it though, it's real. real! Martin did a brilliant race, and you can see he's clearly very experienced with it, and fair play to him. I think the sprint on stage one, it's really where I put the foundation of winning this race, because that's a huge boost of confidence if you can win there because that's the stage that comes down to even maybe hundreds of seconds. It's a really small difference between first and fifth. To be first there and take the 10 points, it's an amazing start and gave me a lot of confidence for the rest of the race. Here we go, stage two. I think maybe I won the race in, in that first sprint where I did yeah, a really good job of winning it and then backing it up in the second stage where a lot of the other athletes either didn't do super well in the first stage or didn't do super well in the second stage. Alex is still off the front. Great racing from Alex. I think I had yeah, max amount of points after two stages where all my competitors pretty much had 14 points. Uh, and that's yeah, that was a huge difference that gave me the confidence to take it home in the last stage. Van Riel does the job. All right, yeah. it's time to get ready for stage three. This is where the money is made. Just before the start of the last race, I heard on the tannoy that there was quite a few of us on 14 points I think, maybe five of us and I thought right it's really crunch time so yeah I just had to give it the best I could on that last run. And they're going to have to run it home after this swim. This is going to be the swim of his life for Alex. It was super hard to hold off Alex in the last stage but that was the only goal I had left in that race was to try and outrun Alex. Uh, I had a little bit of a gap after the swim which was my biggest goal to keep that. Here comes Alex here in red, and he is flying. Running has it's been usually my weak point in a triathlon, and I'm really trying to work on that and build my confidence towards other objectives this year, and this race definitely helped in that. Van Riel will take 30 from 30 unless Yi can run him down. I was a little bit gutted I didn't quite get Martin at the end, but I just go back and look at what I could have done better, and then hopefully coming onto the start line as my best itself. The perfect race Great from Martin race. Van Riel oh, and wow. what a run from Alex Yi. I used what, what I did wrong last time in my advantage and yeah I think those, those small things really made a difference today. Yeah it's been amazing to start the season with the two wins in, in the, both the Super League Arena games and I don't know how I'm gonna have to build on this but I hope I can now get back to training and get back to really good training and build towards the first ITU races of the year and and the main goal is obviously the Olympics and after that I hope to also get some really good performance in the outdoor Super League season. We'll see you after the Tokyo Olympics.